Hi Spooky Booze, it's your girl Megan Dasnaki coming back at you with another video. Stay tuned if you want to see how to create this look step by step. I will show you the way. Let's get started. Here we are, fresh face, primed, ready to go. Starting off with that foundation, this is Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation in Ivory. Gonna go ahead and put that on my favorite foundation brush. This is from Morphe. If it wants to come out of the bottle, put some dabs on the face. I'm gonna blend all that in to give myself a nice solid base, all the same color because I got a little redness going on. Cover up that redness, cover up anything else that we need to. Use concealer at your own discretion. I did not use concealer at this time because I was just trying to cover up that redness, like I said, and give myself a base to add that color that we're gonna add with this look today. I'm gonna go ahead and get some color from this beautiful Morphe X James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist Artistry Palette. Looking at this bottom left corner with these green shades, Social Blade, Daddy, and possibly Guac. I might dip into a little bit later. I'm gonna start off with Social Blade, that lime green color, and start to line the edges of my face. I'm kind of wanting a green glow to come, like it's almost like seeping from my hair. So I'm gonna go around my hairline with that social blade. Kind of going ahead and packing some of that color into areas that I want to be a little bit more darker and then blending out other areas to have a lighter green. Then still using that same lime green color, I'm going in to carve out my cheekbones to use this green as a bronzer as well as contouring for my nose. I'm making sure that the green is connecting to my eyebrows and bringing that down all the way to the point that I'm kind of making with my nose. Also adding a little bit of that green to my lips because Poison Ivy is known for that poisonous, venomous kiss. And also bringing it down a little bit to my body. I always, whenever I'm bringing makeup that's going to be on my body, I love to start with my collarbones and go from there. I'm going to go ahead with this Rimmel London Natural Bronzer just to add a little bit more color. Darken up that lime green a little bit where we would normally do our bronzer at and kind of add it to a little bit more other parts of my face to kind of darken up that lime green a little bit and add a little bit more depth with the colors that Poison Ivy possesses. All right, now I'm going to go ahead with this flat brush, eyeliner brush, and go ahead in that shade You're Kidding, which is a red shade so that I can color my brows and fill them in since Poison Ivy does have red hair. I was actually really surprised that this stuck so well because I did not use any brow gel. I did not put any primer or anything on my eyebrows at all other than this product. Then, what do you know, we're going back in with this fabulous palette and now I'm tapping in to Social Blade yet again but with a new brush so I can pack this color onto my eyelids. I'm really just focusing this color on the eyelids at this point because I have another color that's going to go up in the crease. So for the crease and up to the brow bone, I went ahead with Punch Me, which is a nice nudie shade. You could use this first if you want to, but it kind of blended nicely in there, so it was fine on top. Then I went over to the shade So Good to add a little bit of sparkle to not quite the inner corner, but right in that, it's kind of the inner corner, but not right up against the nose, if you know what I'm talking about. But I was having some trouble getting the pigment on there and for it to really stick, so I used some setting spray, tap back in there, and really got that color to shine. Just kind of giving a little fade right in there in that inner area. Then I went ahead with that shade B, that bright yellow shade that James gave us, and I used this for my inner corner. Just kind of working with those earthy tones, really bringing it all together for Poison Ivy's look. 
Then I picked up this little NYX single eyeshadow. This is in the shade Mermaid. It's got a nice blue-green glittery undertones. It doesn't give off too much color unless you really want to build it up. So I kind of went this all over my face to give myself a little bit more of that greenish blue glow. Of course, bringing it down to the neck and anywhere else on your body that you have put color as well. Then we go back in and I'm stepping into that shade Guac. It's giving us those green, those like deeper green shimmery shades. Then I went ahead in with my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Palette. And I went ahead with that middle shade and a little bit of that Sub-Zero, that white shade to really get the glow that I was looking for to really make this look pop and stand out and give Poison Ivy the shine for her 15 minutes of fame that she deserves. Really working this up into the colors I've already got on. Next, I went ahead with what I believe is called RSL, their liquid eyeliner in brown. I used this for my winged eyeliner look. Again, I wasn't wanting to use a harsh black. I'm wanting to stick with those earthy tones, so I thought that this would be perfect to pull the look together, especially for this eye look. And I really think once I got it on both my lids that it was exactly what we needed. Went back in with that flat brush that I use for my brows back into our James Charles palette and now we're using that darker green shade Daddy to do my lower lash line or waterline. And yes, I didn't say this earlier, but I did use Daddy to darken up my contour areas and that green on my face earlier too. And I ended up kind of extending my wing a little bit with this, just following the wing that we had just made with that brown. And then for my lips, I went ahead with Beauty Bakery's Lip Whip in Mon Cherie. This is their red, red lipstick. I went ahead and just applied this to my lips. Then I went back in with that little single NYX Cosmetics shade because I wanted to add a little bit more of that poisonous, venomous essence that Poison Ivy has. So I felt like the lips really just couldn't be plain or solid. It leaned to look like something was kind of like coming off of them or might still be like some residue on the lip so then i went ahead with these eyelore london jasmine brown collaboration jb dramatic false lashes because that's what we need we need some drama because your girl's got long lashes but i can't forget about the benefit cosmetics roller lash cannot forget about your natural lashes even when you're wearing falsies you still want your lashes to be dark like you want them to be, you want them to be standing up and doing their thing. A lot of times I get a lot of fallout or shadow on my lashes, and then my lashes are the color of my shadow, and so I really need to coat both sides to get what I need. <laughs> and you are poison. Poison Ivy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you loved it as much as I loved putting this together. For some reason, it's giving me like Wonder Woman vibes. I guess because like the head crown. I don't know because it's obviously very much not Wonder Woman, but that's the vibes that I'm feeling. Maybe it's the red. The red and yeah, we're going to go with that. But let me know what you think about this video. If you like to give it a thumbs up, because I definitely want to do more videos like this. I definitely want to do some more superheroes or super villains, if that's what you're into. So let me know down below. Take a look at all these videos here on the screen that I've also done. I'm not sure if I'm going to get one or two more Halloween looks out this year, but definitely stay tuned because I post a new video every single Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, beauties.